Welcome to For the Health of It, Because You Can, where host Susan Robinson dives into the eight categories of wellness with experts from various fields. We offer tips and information to help you thrive in all areas of individual wellness. Welcome to the podcast today, everybody. Our guest is Major Gregory Bradford, who is with the Oklahoma City Fire Department. And we have asked him to come in and talk about the programs that the uh, fire department offers to citizens. And uh, they do travel to and will come to your place um, of business or your agency. And so we have a lot to talk about today about those programs. But then he's going to also talk about um, safety things that we can do before the holidays to prevent fires. So welcome, Gregory. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So how long have you been with the fire department? Well, personally, I started a long, long time ago. I uh, actually got on the fire department in March of 1999. And then I was out in the field approximately about 15 years uh, out in the fire stations, and then I changed over to uh, the risk reduction office uh, June 21st of 2013. Okay. Um, So I looked online and found this extensive list of programs that you offer. So what's the main goal that uh, for your public education program? Uh, the The main goal in risk reduction Uh, for us is to educate the public about fire and other safety issues to prevent things from possibly happening in the future. Good, good. Um, So tell us about some of the programs that I saw listed, like Project Live, Youth Fire Starter Intervention. You know what I'm saying. I had a whole list of programs that I saw. Yes, we do have uh, Project Life is is, uh, something that we've been working on for the last uh, about 10 years. And this is a program that it provides smoke alarms for the residents of the Oklahoma City area uh, at zero cost. And uh, the program is not income based. So um, our philosophy is, is we want you as safe as possible. And we don't want anybody going to sleep with a non-working smoke alarm. So if their smoke alarms aren't working or if they're outdated, um, this program provides smoke alarms free of cost. All right. Um, what's in particular about the youth fire starter intervention? Um, our youth fire setting intervention program is a program that's designed to educate the first time youth offenders ranging from about six to 18 years of age that have shown the unsafe interest of fire and or have started a fire. Oh, so, I did not know yes. that. Yes. Okay. Um, what is Risk Watch? Uh, Risk Watch is actually an old, um, it's it's an old program, and it's been taken over by OK Child. And OK Child uh, is an injury and accident prevention program that is aimed to teach children uh, pre-K through about fifth grade. So okay, that that's young. in the school systems. Okay. Um, what about emergency preparedness prevention? Um, that's our EAP, which is the emergency action plans. And this is a service provided that basically gives guidance to businesses, schools, hospitals, and all types of institutions to prepare for prevention and mitigation in all possible disasters they could probably face in Oklahoma City. Like tornadoes? Yeah, tornadoes. You've got, uh... Um, active wind storms sh- yeah, here definitely lately. <laughs> wind storms um, severe weather um, active shooters uh, oh. all kinds of different things so okay that's I did not know it covered active shooters mm-hmm. okay um, so what is remembering when now remembering when is something that is just now being replaced um, by a program uh, called steps to safety so um, this is a Basically, it's it's geared towards senior adults, and basically it talks about things that they need to remember. Go back to the basics instead of taking all the shortcuts that we always take. Yes. <laughs> we all have that tendency to seem like we're so busy that we want to take shortcuts for sure. Exactly. Um, and you do offer a CPR training. It's not sort of, you can't get certified, but you do learn the skills, right? Correct. Um, 
We have gone to hands-only CPR, and um, we feel that with the short amount of a response time that the emergency system has here in Oklahoma City, um, that hands-only CPR is really a, a great deal uh, to learn. Um, it, it's very valuable in the life safety uh, part and aspect of what we do every day. Yeah, I agree with that. So the last program I wanted to ask you about was the Residence Fire Academy. When do you host that, what it's about? The Residence Fire Academy starts in September, so you, the uh, first Tuesday of September. It goes every Tuesday evening, uh, I believe starting at 6 o'clock, usually until 9. Um, they do feed you, um, and basically that is an amazing uh, thing that we offer because it's a program uh, that allows the adults in the Oklahoma City community to come together and learn and obtain the insider's in view of the services that Oklahoma City Fire Department provides, information about fire safety for the home and the workplace, and a deeper understanding for the duties of a firefighter by engaging in hands-on activities. Now, these activities are incredible. You get the chance to repel. You get the chance to put out fires. You get the chance to cut open a car. You get the chance to really see what the Oklahoma City firefighters do on a daily basis, whether it's a car accident, a fire, food on the stove at home to clear out all the smoke. Um, it's, it's amazing. One thing that um, you do if you get accepted into the academy is – uh, you get to do three ride-alongs with the Oklahoma City Fire Department. So you'll choose a fire station, and you'll obviously have to have permission. You'll go, and you'll be with firefighters during the daytime and go out on calls with them. Now, it doesn't mean that, that you get to go do awesome. all the cool things that the firefighters <laughs> do, but you get to watch and see firsthand, firsthand experience, experience yeah. what they actually do and go through. Wow. Wow. I think that would be so much fun. I, I do. I think that's amazing. Um, so some of the training, like, do you ever take um, some of your training to the locations? I think I said that earlier, but, like, I, I know that you've been contacted yeah, to come so, to an agency to do some training. So some of the things that we do, uh, we'll have, we have, like, a fire extinguisher program. So okay. it's it's basically a class to learn uh general fire safety fire extinguisher stuff like that and we'll be able to a, a company or a business will call us up and say i would like to do this normally we need a two-week notice to be able to plan everything make sure okay. everything uh is available during that time that they want um if it's definitely after hours it's got to be a 30-day advance uh notice for us oh okay so okay. um but they'll call and say, hey, I would like fire extinguisher class for 40 approximate, approximately 40 adults. So uh, we'll basically bring the class to them if they have it in a, in a uh, conference room or something like that. Uh -huh. We usually do that. And we have uh, our system's called the Bolex, and it's, a, it's, it's got lasers that actually come out of the uh, – the fire extinguisher and it goes on a uh it's got its own system so therefore it's you could get a put out a virtual fire right a yeah. virtual fire i think that's so. awesome um so it, what phone number would somebody call if they wanted if an agency wanted to host a class um they get to call our fire prevention office um okay. which the phone number is 405-297- 3318 that is 405-297-3318 and then they would ask for a risk reduction officer and okay. then once someone gets on the line they would just tell them what they would like okay that's good so now i want to talk a little bit about our own personal safety fire prevention and we're yeah. coming up on the holidays we're right at the holiday time um so um what's the most common fires during the holidays 
<laughs> well, there's there's that's such a big gray area because yes, it is. <laughs> uh, obviously, you have people wanting to start fires in their their uh, fireplaces, so sometimes we forget to do the old chimney sweep, and get those mm-hmm. cleaned out, or a lot of people do not open the flume, and then of course the smoke stays in the house instead right. of being right. open to the outside. So. Right. Um, or someone puts some wood in there and then you get the little snaps from the firewood and it throws an ember out on the carpet because they don't have a screen in front of it. Right. So okay. those are things to kind of look and, and think about. Um, another thing, um, since it's the holiday seasons, guess what? Everybody cooks. Yes. So you have a lot of food on the stove. Right. Or you have the rolls in the oven that people forgot, or the pies, or uh, just anything that has to do with cooking. And of course, you got deep fried turkeys. So, yeah, those can be dancing. They are very dangerous. <laughs> um, they're very dangerous. So, you got to make sure that they're, the turkeys are thawed out and there's no water. Uh, coming from them whenever you put them in because guess what grease and fire don't or grease and water don't mix oh so, okay well, that makes sense yeah. um so how else do you get safety messages out out to the public well we have all the nifty little uh internet ways um we've got uh instagram and facebook um, those are two of the big we do have Twitter um, so we put our messages out through small videos obviously we can do on Facebook or or Instagram or something like that so those okay. are our ways um, so if they were to search for your um, platforms you can what do they search it, anybody could type in Oklahoma City Fire Department in the search area okay um, and then they can type OKC Fire on Instagram, and that should bring them up to our page. Okay. So if I was to pick top three things you'd like to tell the listeners about safety. Top three things? Um, working smoke alarms save lives. Yep. Learn CPR. And close before you doze. Oh, <laughs> that's those are very good. I like that last one. So once a year, you do a fundraiser for Project Life. Yes, we have a Project Life 5K run and fun walk. So that typically uh, raises our, we, we do have sponsorships. We would love to have more sponsorships. Um, so whoever would like to give. Uh, but uh, we obviously have a race t-shirt um, that we give um, those people that participate. And it has all the donors on the back. So um, still looking for major donator, dana, donators to uh, come in and help out. Because that's basically how we uh, pay for not only the smoke alarms, but other uh, life safety uh equipment so we're looking at other areas we're not just doing smoke alarms anymore so so it will uh provide for other life safety uh equipment that's really awesome um all right so i really really appreciate you coming today it's been my pleasure and um, sharing this information and hopefully people will get interested in in the fire academy and the other programs or bringing you into their agencies um, to to do some training on on uh, fire extinguishers because i know there's a lot of information out there um, on fire extinguishers but maybe have the wrong ones and which ones we should be using the home versus elsewhere so anyway it was a pleasure having you and uh, i hope that you get a lot of calls and people wanting to uh, attend your fire academy and um, have you into their agency so thank you again for being here thank you 
Thank you for listening to For the Health of It. For more wellness tips, information, and videos, visit the Thrive webpage. For questions, contact us at thrive at omes.ok.gov.